Let's discuss Poisset's Law. Poisset's Law states that flow is equal to pressure times radius to the fourth power times pi over 8 times the viscosity of the substance times the length of the substance. Right? So your radius is to the fourth power. You see that N is equal to the viscosity of the substance and L is equal to the length of the tube in which the substance flows through. Now what we also know with Ohm's Law is that flow is equal to the pressure divided by the resistance. Now this is important for anesthetists to realize the inverse relationship between resistance and flow. We can rework these equations and realize that resistance to flow is going to be equal to 8 times the viscosity of the substance times the length of the substance divided by pi times the radius to the fourth power. This is very important. You have to realize that flow varies directly and resistance inversely to the fourth power of the radius. Right? If you half the radius of the tube in question, you are going to increase the resistance by 16 fold. Right? Let me give you an example. Say your radius is 4 millimeters, whatever tube you're using. And we half that, okay, so 4 millimeters. And we half that to 2 millimeters. Let's look at what happens to our radius. Right? 4 to the 4th power compared to 2 to the 4th power. All right. So what does that equal? So 4 to the 4th power is equal to 256. 2 to the 4th power is equal to 16. So what you have done is increase resistance 16-fold. It's simple mathematics, right? 1 over 256 is a much smaller number than 1 over 16. So if you have a patient with an endotracheal tube of 6 millimeters, the internal diameter, and you see that they're having trouble uh, and they're in respiratory distress, what you might want to consider is increasing the internal diameter to a 7 millimeter tube or an 8 millimeter tube. What you also might want to consider when you are doing uh, fluid resuscitation is to have a larger gauge catheter, right, that is short in length. Why? Because length varies directly with resistance and radius is an inverse relationship to the fourth power to resistance. Thanks.